Yes, that's what we do here. We have classes for the children and the younger generation here and to promote their creativity. And uh, some people say that uh, AI can be very creative. They can make poems, they can make paintings, music. However, that's not uh, what we mean creative uh, as human. Well, what we mean is from zero to one. So it's really originality. Uh, but AI, what they can do is to learn from big data, to learn what the others do, and they do the similar thing. That's not uh, the real creativity. Actually, the human creativity has um, uh, warmth in it. Uh, it, it uh, means that people uh, interact with people. So here we let the children to do projects, a creative project. We let them to make the uh, true arti uh, artistic works uh, to reflect their own emotion emotions, their own thoughts. We train them with critical thinking. We let them to think about the uh, causes and reasons of uh, historical events. We let them to try to uh, make something to tell the future people about Beijing and we also let them to uh, make some imaginary machines so that uh, all kinds of uh, uh, projects uh, are what we do here and uh, I think that uh, if the children have the um, um, uh, will to do creative things and then they can do and then they can they, they do not fear any kind of future actually what I cherish the most. I think it's not a particular uh, special here in China, in Chinese families. It's actually uh, really universal to all humans. It's the cognitive of oneself and respect with uh, the others and uh, um, that's the uh, bilateral respect uh, with each other. Uh, and actually I, I think that um, there is a particular very uh, difficult for AI to understand the human society is the causality in the human society. AIs cannot really understand human society because he cannot understand the human emotions and human motivations and that's the most important thing in our society. So if we really know oneself and we really uh, like to hear the others and understand others and we really respect each other's uh, emotions and motivations then we can uh, have a higher level of uh, cognition than the AI they can never understand us and I think that's the most important thing in the next uh, generation and because uh, AI can do all the uh, regular things uh, according to a formula or equation uh, but he will never understand the, uh, uh, the real uh, bonding and the emotions uh, among humans. So uh, it will be more and more necessary in the future to understand each other and to communicate uh, with each other from our deep heart. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that uh, in Chinese society, uh, traditionally we really respect each other. We really um, uh, think that the bond between each other very important and I think that's a good tradition and it will it should be uh, cherished in the future but I don't think that a family value is only economic or it's only about uh, some uh, practical supports to your career it's not not like this uh, not only family values but the, uh, the relationship between you and your friends and your uh, uh, other uh, your teachers and other people in your life it's about uh, the human relationship actually you know in China uh, ancient philosophers cherish the value of Ren. the Chinese character actually it means uh, two persons two persons so uh, Ren doesn't mean the mercy or the love uh, it's not the same idea in in the Western culture it means the two persons. If you have a bond with the other person and you really do respect that, that, that is Ren. So it's about the relationship between two persons. And I think that bond between uh, two persons will be the most uh, cherished thing in the future. Because uh, when you do have that bond, you, you know what means uh, the belief uh, in the other people, you will uh, try to understand them, you cherish the relationship, and then you will have a 
the, the whole different world. So I think that uh, in the future, the family uh, will have less economic uh, value than in the past, but uh, will have more and more emotional value in the future. Yeah. Actually, the only effective way to reduce poverty and uh, to avoid the social segregation is through the career path of a person. If uh, one person from a poor family can have uh, um, a proper education and training and uh, have opportunities to pursue his life and do have a lot of opportunities to uh, pursue a career that uh, can uh, do have the possibilities to success in the life and then the social segregation might be uh, dis dismissed uh, or uh, uh, abandoned. So I think that in the future, the the um, uh, good policies try to ensure that everybody has this kind of uh, uh, career path, uh, access to all the opportunities. And so the government should provide uh, um, more and more better education to the poor people and also the career trainings, mm -hmm. or. Um, they should uh, promote people uh, and institute to give this kind of uh, uh, education and trainings to the children in the poor family. So, uh, if everybody has the opportunity to pursue a, a successful career, and then the uh, society might be more equal in the future. In, in China, the education opportunity is still quite unequal here. Uh, the student uh, from a middle family, a middle class family in a big city, can access to better school with a lot of opportunities to uh, uh, to study different uh, uh, subjects. But uh, the students in the poor mountain areas uh, have uh, really um, uh, they they really lack of opportunity to uh, this kind of to access this kind of opportunities. So um, that's what we do here now in China. We send our teachers to the poor mountain areas so to give uh, the children there uh, uh, science classes and art classes, uh, which they will never have uh, in, in their life. So I think that uh, in the future, uh, more and more people should get involved in this, uh, um, uh, in this process. And uh, we try to help the poor children with some more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Because for the children, uh, the best way of education is, is uh, still through the interaction of human. So uh, young students still need uh, uh, better teachers uh, and better adults, uh, better parents uh, to raise them, to give them education. Even in the era of uh, AI, even the AIs can be the uh, assistance of teachers, uh, still the children need the human interactions and human warmth to, uh, re to, to uh, grow up uh, healthy. Uh, so in the future, I think that uh, uh, what the AI can do still depends on what the human can do. So if more and more people give their efforts uh, uh, to give children better education, and then the AI can be really good uh, assistant if the people don't pay attention to it and then the AI will just uh, enlarge the cognitive gap and uh, like the, uh, the the cognitive gaps among different children be larger and larger so it depends on us not uh, uh, enough people have paid uh, enough attention to this issue and I I still hope that more and more people uh, get involved in the process of education revolution. I, I do hope that uh, that change happened in Song or Ming Dynasty in China. In China, we do have a good foundation of uh, technological development. We, we did have market uh, economy in Song Dynasty, and uh, uh, we do have prosperity there. However, there are a lot of uh, uh, tragedies happening in the uh, history that uh, China get into another path. It never happened to have the modern sciences uh, and technology development here. So I do hope that uh, China can um, have another opportunity in the history and uh, to, or to have more communications with the Western society and be more open, not th that conservative. And then maybe China can get into the modern stage earlier. 
I wish the 2018 Rose Forum a big success. Thank you.